What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week I'm super excited to check out the new extension from Fredo 6 called Fredo Corner. And before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you'd like what I'm doing in this channel, please make sure you check that out in the links down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Fredo Corner is a new extension from Fredo 6 designed to help you generate rounded corners or edges within SketchUp. It's very similar to the old round corner extension that we've used before, but it generates rounded edges using an improved algorithm and also adds a bunch of new tools. So probably the biggest change within Fredo Corner as opposed to round corner is that now corners are all symmetrical. So if you remember in the original round corner extension, when you rounded a box like this one, the corners weren't necessarily symmetrical. They kind of came to a point and then they moved around the edge kind of like this. And it worked great for rounding off edges, but things weren't really, uh, the, the geometry wasn't exactly perfect. With the new extension, Fredo Corner, it actually uses a different algorithm to create your corners, meaning that now your corners are all symmetrical. So if I was to come in here and create a very similar shape to the one over on the left, if you compare the two corners, you can see how this one actually comes around the corner and uh, basically rounds everything off in a very symmetrical fashion, while this one rounded everything off to a point. So that's the first thing, is just rounding in general is just much better in this extension. In addition, now corners can be edited using the profile rounding function, allowing for a lot more options within things in Fredo Corner. So for example, you can select if things come to a circle, a bezier corner, or a squircle. So all of these adjust, you can adjust the sliders and you can preview your corners in 2D and 3D. So you can adjust the number of segments, you can adjust the number of degrees. So corners are much more editable in this new version. You can also square or bevel your corners using the same functions in the profile of the round. You can also add some Bezier curve to this in order to make everything kind of uh, point out a little further. So you can see how the way that you can edit all the corners within these objects is a lot more, it gives you a lot more functions than it did before. You can also edit your corners so that they push inward instead of outward by selecting the inverse option. The inverse option allows you to set these so they curve inside. You can see how even this geometry is also symmetrical due to the new algorithm. The new algorithm can also handle more complex shapes than round corner could handle. Um, in addition, there's now a new preview button that allows you to quickly view what your created geometry would look like. Instead of seeing the lines that show where everything's gonna be, you could actually click on the little eye button and it'll show you what that geometry would look like. So as a part of that new function, you can also live update the offset within your objects by clicking and dragging. You can also adjust the number of segments by clicking and dragging while holding the control key, allowing a lot of control over the geometry that's created. This live editing really allows you to see what everything's gonna look like before everything is created. You can adjust individual offsets within the extension as well. So let's say for example that I selected this whole object and I just wanted to adjust either a single offset, you can do that by clicking and then typing a value, or by double clicking to select all, the, all your connected edges. So let's say I wanted to offset all of these lines or these four lines by a certain value, I could type in that value making sure to type in the unit in the lower right hand corner you can see how just those adjust this allows you to set variable offsets for every single one of the offsets within this so this one i could set to 24 inches this one i could set to 16 inches so you can adjust all of these in different ways everything is now variable one major new change is you now have the ability to round off groups and components. So if I was to make a group, previously with round corner, you couldn't do anything with the group. However, with Fredo corner, you can come in and you can adjust this whole object 
without ever having to go inside the group. So if I click out of this, you can see how this is rounded and it's still grouped. This same functionality works for components. So now if you edit one component, all of the other components will change as well. So the new undo and edit feature is also very powerful. So let's say for example that I had made this change and I wanted to come in and adjust it. I could come in here and I could activate the repair button and I could actually come in here and click on this and I have the option to either undo or edit the changes that I made. When I edit the changes I can come in here and do things like uh, changing the offset or making other changes to the way this is generated. So you can see how this is very powerful for allowing you to go back and change things that you've already done, which is not really an option that you had before. There's also a new option to subdivide, allowing you to subdivide objects so that then you can come in and smooth them with an extension like sub D. So you can see how this splits this box up into quads and then you could come in here with sub D and you could actually subdivide it in order to create a smooth curve or smoothly curved edges around your object using subdivision. So I will point out that Fredo has noted this will become a paid extension in a couple months when the bugs are worked out. I don't have any information on the price. I'd say this is a great decision by him because if he can be supported by creating extensions, he's more likely to spend more time creating great extensions like this one. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you interested in this extension? You can download it at the Sketchication Extension Warehouse or at the link in the notes down below. Um, I just love hearing your opinion on this stuff and I uh, love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.